Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shay. I'm back with another video. So if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I don't know what you're doing with yourself. It's free. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and help your girl out. Come try to reach a thousand subscribers. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this video, guys. This video is not a soft topic. It's honestly triggering for me and I bet a lot of other women who have dealt with this before. But this is about a young lady who, she's 31 years old, decided that she wanted to go home, I mean, go to the store, get her something to drink and take her butt back home to her child. But no, her night was interrupted by these goddamn animals who decided to attack her because she declined their advances. So, y'all, Again, this video, this has my nerves all bad because so many of us, like I said, we can relate to this and it's just, it's traumatizing. It really is. But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys check out the news clip and I'll be back with my commentary. Horrific attack in Harlem. A group of men swarmed a mother as she was leaving his store, viciously beating her on the street. News for Mark Santia talked to the woman and he's live at the police precinct in Harlem. Uh, Mark, what did she say led up to this attack? Well, Adam, the mother says it all started when she politely said no thank you to a stranger's offer. It ended with that mother in the hospital. She said, you know, whatever she's getting, I'll get it. And I just said to her, I said, no thank you. But thank this you. woman, who did not want to be identified, is talking about the moments before a frightening attack in Harlem. It's just said a polite decline could lead to something like this. She was shopping after work here on 128th in St. Nicholas. A group of men offered to buy her a bottle of wine. When she declined, they followed her, surrounded her, and attacked. I couldn't believe it. Like, it was just, it was like an animal. Like, that's the only way that I could put it. It was like an animal. She says the men punched, kicked, and spit on her. Then one of the strangers started biting her face. I just remember just screaming to the top of my lungs. I just kept saying, I say, he's biting me. I say, he's biting me. Doctors had to stitch up the bite marks around her left eye. He bit through my eyebrow. What took place here was atrocious. Mm -hmm. An outraged community led by Tony Herbert putting up a cash reward demanding someone who knows these men step forward. To assault a sister like this is an insult and a direct attack on every single woman in our city. My thoughts aren't the normal thoughts anymore. Back to this survivor. The physical wounds will heal, but the emotional wounds are still raw. Like, it was like they wanted to degrade me by spitting on me and kicking me. For her, there is only one thing that will bring some peace and a rest. Like, I'm a mother, I'm a daughter, I'm a friend. This could be anyone's mother, sister, daughter, that are just in a store minding their business, purchasing their goods. A reward worth thousands of dollars is now being offered. If you recognize the men in those pictures and video, you're asked to call police immediately. You can remain anonymous. We're live in Harlem. I'm more hey, yo, protect black women, son. What's that? Protect black women. Niggas ain't standing for me no more. That's the liquor store right there. Niggas ain't standing for me no more. Whoever them niggas are, y'all feel bad for y'all, son. Y'all, y'all niggas is gonna get caught up. Y'all niggas is gonna get caught up, bro. Niggas ain't playing with y'all. Look at that. They out there deep. Protect black women. That news clip just—it's a trigger for me because. It's all just, it's just way too familiar. It's not like something that we haven't heard before. It's not like anything that a lot of women have not encountered or, you know, even had to deal with before. A lot of us had to deal with stuff like this before, myself included. So it's just sad that it's like, I, I don't understand what's going through some, some of these men's heads where it's like, okay, somebody telling you no is just, a ultimate disrespect when it's not. I, I just don't, I really don't understand it. I don't get it. And I myself, I've been in situations like that before. And sometimes I'm I'm afraid to 
tell a man no. Tell somebody that's interested in me on the streets no because of what have you know what's happened to me. I told him God no before going to a store, just like the way she was going to a little store. I was way younger though. I was like probably a teenager, like 17 or whatever. But the fact that I'm 30 years old now and that still affects me to this day, that just shows. You know what I'm saying? That just tells a lot. But I was going to a little convenience store just getting chips or something. And this guy said, you know, he was trying to talk to me. And I was like, you know, no, I got a boyfriend, stuff like that. And instead of this boy, man, I don't even know. I think he was older than me. He looked older than me. But instead of him just walking away and just, you know, going about his business, this dude decides to spit on me. He spit on me because I told him, no, I have a boyfriend. So, and I hate that, like, a lot of men don't believe women when we say shit like this. I've seen a whole Twitter thread where women were expressing themselves about this topic right here about things that has happened to them because they declined, you know, you know, told a guy no or declined his advances and the stories are just crazy, but men are wearing the comments like, y'all capping, y'all lying, blah, 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 blah. This stuff happens, <laughs> clearly. And we see this time and time on the damn news. It's not like something brand new. This happens often. I don't know what's going through these guys' head with, like, no, it's just the ultimate disrespect, but, like, y'all need to get it together, we are not the cause of your ego being shattered. It's something, it's something within you that you need help with. If a woman just simply says, no, thank you, that you just go off the deep end and decide that you have to beat her ass on top of all of that. Like, that, telling somebody no can be scary. We don't heard a woman get shot and killed because she told a man no. Like, it's insane. Like, I don't, like, what's, I don't get it. I really don't. I really don't. It's it's scary. And it, to me, this is, this is triggering for me. Like I said, I've been through this. And it's traumatized because it's like, what's going to happen next if I keep... You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not into somebody. Like, it's scary. And the fact that this girl... I'm happy that she's alive and well. Everything's okay. And she's able to heal from this. But could you imagine what she's going through mentally? What effect is left on her? This is somebody's mother. She's somebody's mother. She was trying to mind her business, get her little drink, probably trying to relax at the house and be with her child. And But now nah, they just interrupted her whole night over a simple no thank you. Are you serious? And then y'all decide to beat her up, jump her, bite her? Like, what, who the hell raised y'all? Who the hell raised these fools? I hope they get caught. I really do. I hope they get caught. I hope they add, get locked the fuck up. I just, it's just disgusting to me. It's so disgusting to me. I just, it got me feeling some kind of way. Like, I just don't, this shit got my stomach hurting. Like, oh, I just can't. Like, it's disgusting. And I'm just happy that she is okay. I'm happy again. Like, again, I'm happy she's okay. I'm happy that she gets to physically heal from this but you know emotionally and mentally i hope that she's able to heal as well and i hope that she gets the help that she needs to even keep going on from this traumatic experience because it's traumatic as hell like whew, y'all it's too much it's too much but they still looking for the guys hopefully like i said i hope they get caught and i hope that they get locked up i normally don't even wish that type of stuff on people but like when you do stuff like this you deserve whatever comes at you and this is disgusting it was super disgusting all right guys i'm out of here i'm gonna go ahead and log it out because i'm just disturbed right now like i'm just because i know a lot of women can like understand where i'm coming from when i even talk about this like it's a lot of us who have went through stuff like this so it's just traumatic but anyway, guys, like I said, I'm out of here. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment below. You can even tell me your stories and, you know, and go ahead and visit if you need to. This is a safe place, okay?
But all right, you guys, don't forget to check out my website, shopletsgoboys.com. Y'all are all in place. I'm sorry. Shopletsgoboys.com. I'm going to leave it in the description bar below so you guys can check me out. Have a blessed day. Deuces, y'all.